Wrath of the Titans in 3D short movie review. It's been a couple of years since the Clash of the Titans, and the writers decided, hey, Titans is in the title, maybe there should actually be Titans. So in this one, Kronos, the king of the Titans, I guess, or something, is never really made clear, but I'm pretty sure he's a Titan at least, may be getting free. And this is done partially through Zeus getting captured and trapped in Tartarus. So Perseus has to go through the maze of Tartarus and find his father. Joining him are Andromeda, because Io died in between movies, as per the action movie law that, you know, the hero's love interest has to die before the second war, or get divorced, or something. And Agonaut, or something like that, who starts out obnoxious and then completely abandons any personality, I, I guess, to fit in. Because, you know, the only people who actually, have, the only characters to have actual personality in this film are some of the gods, who actually have some interesting character drama, but yeah, that's the only place that has anything interesting in that regard. This has some great action. The various creatures fought, such as Cyclops, this two-headed werewolf thing that breathes fire, gods, all of them get a nice amount of time on screen and are sufficiently built up. There's very little that, you know, is only very briefly in, in the action or is, like, is not shown doing something cool or, you know, shown to be very powerful and dangerous. The 3D is excellent. In this one, they did not just post-convert at the very last minute, and this was very clearly shot for 3D. And they, while some of the 3D is very on the nose, they chose the right times for that to be the case. When the film is trying to be epic, and it, suce and it succeeds, there's 3D. You know, the huge stuff, that is in 3D. But the regular stuff... Not so much, so it doesn't get to be, you know, excessive. And when the film really needs to feel, you know, massive, it does. And it's also a film that really shows how, you know, for example, the, the gods are more powerful than the men, and the Cyclops are stronger than the men, and, you know, s such things. So it's not just facing them head-on, you have to actually be smart about fighting these things. Dialogue is pretty average. Acting, just about the same, except for Liam Neeson and Ray Fiennes, who have some really great, you know, th their dynamic is one of the most interesting things in the film, as far as, you know, anything that actually challenges you mentally and isn't just nice to look at. The film is straight, mindless popcorn entertainment. And as such, it's quite good. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.